hello hello everyone welcome back if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Sabs I go by sustainable Sabs on Instagram I talk about all things zero waste living low impact living veganism minimalism activism social justice for today's video I wanted to do something a little bit more low-key a little bit fun um, and show you my one of my favorite places in the world the farmers market because I'm that bitch. So it is a beautiful day. I have a pretty much empty fridge and I will take you all along with me on my little journey. And I don't really know what I'm gonna pick up. Probably something fresh, maybe tomatoes, maybe like some cucumbers. And then when I'll get back, I'll show you what I picked up and I'll show you uh, a meal that I like to cook with my fresh farmer's market ingredients. So thank you for following along and enjoy. Oh, Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. just got back from the farmer's market and I don't have a ton of time because I have to run soon. I'm going to volunteer today. Um, but I did want to do a quick little haul to show you what I got and how much I paid for it. And then later tonight, I will show you a meal that I make out of all of these ingredients. So first things first, I got a loaf of bread. I just had them put it straight into my bag and they really didn't have a problem with it, which is great. This is just a regular reusable bag. So there was no extra paper involved aside from this, but I think they use this for safety reasons. This loaf of bread was $5, which seems to be pretty standard for bread loaves at the farmer's market. Um, and then I also got, these originally came in one of those like little blue farmer's market containers, but I just had a paper bag that I had brought with me that was just part of like my bag stash that I always bring to the market with me. So um, into this bag I put some of these adorable baby tomatoes and um, I think the container which I like I said dumped out into this bag was around four dollars so this and this together was nine dollars. Another thing I got was a bunch of leeks. I actually love leeks. I think they're really really good and they just last a long time and they tend to be cheap. So um, this bunch, I wanna say cost $3.25, really not too expensive at all. And this, I can use the entirety of like this bottom white part and also this green part as well. And you can actually just cut them really finely and saute them. So really almost none of this leek actually has to go to, go to waste aside from like this bottom part and then this um, tag that came along with it, but I didn't really have control over it. So got this bunch of leeks for $3.25. One thing I almost always try to do is make it a point to buy some sort of greens while I'm at the farmer's market. So today I got some collard greens. The leaves are huge. So if you really wanted to make like wraps, like veggie wraps with veggies and avocado and stuff, you can just roll it up inside here. So if you don't have any rice paper rolls or like sushi rolls or anything, this is a great alternative and it tastes really good. Lots of vitamins, vitamin K. Um, and it's so super healthy for you and just like tastes really good raw or cooked uh and this i want to say and this i want to say i never saw got it for like also 325 around 325 another thing i got was just a bell pepper i freaking love bell peppers honestly i could eat them all day every day and i want to take advantage of the summer produce as much as i can because in a couple months it'll all be gone so they had this incredible deal on cucumbers so i got this is only two but i actually got three cucumbers for two dollars 
Then the last thing I got was plums. They came in all of these adorable little colors and kind of like the tomatoes that I mentioned earlier, these came in one of those little uh, blue farmer's market containers and there's more in here. They actually, like I said, come in a bunch of different colors. I got some yellow ones and these like purplish pink ones and there's some that have like little streaks of orange in them but these were four dollars for the container the the produce all of the produce i got for sixteen dollars and the loaf i got for five dollars which is compared to some of my other farmers market trips really really not that bad i also do have a couple of things left over from last week's farmers market trip i'm gonna real quick show you guys how i store all of my produce so here i'm just kind of like laying it out so i can see everything i know the tomatoes are in here and i definitely will be eating them um, but because they're pretty small I don't want to take them out just in case they like fall through the grates or anything but I like having all my produce front and center so I can see exactly what I have I also have some things left over from last week so definitely need to cut up some more of this watermelon I have cabbage an apple a little bit of a lemon left and then I don't know if you can see but in the back there's an onion so I'm definitely keeping track uh, of everything that I do have so that nothing goes to waste and in addition one of my favorite hacks for keeping greens like heartier greens things like lacinato kale or regular kale fresh and crisp as long as possible is just putting them in a jar with water in the fridge so I just have a glass jar um, I'm gonna attempt to put it in standing straight but it might uh, I might have to bend the leaves a little bit because my fridge isn't super tall but this is how I keep all my greens nice and fresh and before I forget to mention, with this loaf of bread, I'm going to cut it in half. Half of it, I'm going to cut it into slices, put it in a cloth towel, and then put it in the freezer. And then the other half I'm just going to leave out. Um, I'm not going to cut it preemptively because that causes bread to go stale faster. So I'm just going to leave half of it as the loaf and then cut slices uh, for the next couple of days as I eat it. So um, once I get back from my volunteering tonight, I'm excited to show you guys what I'll be making. All right, so I'm officially preparing my lunch. So uh, this is kind of combining some things that I had left over from last week's haul and a couple of new things from this week. So I have this beet from last week that I just put in water in the fridge so that it stays nice and crisp, as well as this apple and this spring onion. These are from this week. So collard greens, the bell pepper, tomatoes, cucumber, which I already cut into. Um, and then this is just leftovers that I had. It's some um, pasta and then in the bottom, you can't really see but there are chickpeas in there as well. So I'm kind of just gonna make like a big salad. I like to eat like this most of the time. And I'll show you guys the dressing that I make, but honestly, I'll just like chop all of this stuff up and put it in a bowl and that'll be my lunch. Mm -hmm. 